Well, here we are, Thoughts for the Office, Redneck Pride Outdoors. Uh, I'm going to do a little different video today. We're, it's May 16th, I believe it is, and uh, groundhogs' uh, calls are coming in, but groundhog trapping has been slow in the last two weeks. And, uh, I knew the reason why, I just didn't want to admit it at that point, but, but it, the truth of the matter is it's this way every year. You, uh, you get the calls, the people see the animals, but they're not, when you get out to the job, you see that there's very little movement happening. Where three, four weeks ago, groundhogs was everywhere, moving everywhere, doing everything. But now, all of a sudden, you say to your customer, when do you see them? And they say, well, we see them for an hour right at daybreak, and we see them for a little bit right before dark, as the majority of the, of the calls. Where three, four weeks ago, middle of April, they was out all kinds of times. Wasn't good English, but the truth. And what that usually tells me is this, the, the young have been born or, or being born. The calls that you go out on and, and you're still, and, they're, and the folks are still saying, yeah, it's out constantly. It's a single groundhog, it's out constantly. I see it any time, whatever. It's probably going to be a male. Now we're talking about May. And be, you know, May, beginning of June, this time frame right now. Where you saw groundhogs, now your jobs are more jobs are more or less shut down, and you can't figure out why. You're frustrated. Whatever. The people who sees the groundhog, a single groundhog, and he's going in and out of the 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 the, the, the ground, the hole there, the shed, the deck, whatever. It, you know, off and on all day long. That's usually going to be a male. You cannot. It's not absolute, but it's usually going to be a male. Most of you are going to say, I don't care what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm out to catch a groundhog. I don't care if it's a male. You want a male this time of year right now. You want that groundhog job to be a male. Why? It's easier to catch. Now, I know a lot of you are going to use your, your uh, four sets. You know, you're going to cover the hole up and all that stuff. But... Unless the customer tells you that they're seeing that groundhog come out of that hole two, three times a day, you're, you're, you're throwing a dice. Because even if it's a male, it still could be bouncing around from different hole to different hole. Okay? So... Use your force, use your boxes, use your what your cones and all that stuff. But always be aware that just because the groundhog was there this morning, this time of year, doesn't mean it's going to be there this afternoon. If it's a male. Now, when the customer says, you know, a few weeks ago I was seeing it every day, all day long, coming in and out of that hole. Now I only see it early in the morning and, 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 and late in the afternoon for a short period of time, that gets me thinking female. You say, so what? Who cares? Well, in May, female probably means she's got pups down in that hole. Which means what? She's extremely hard to catch. By a baited set, number one. Also, she's extremely spooky. So when you do throw a cone over top of it, um, a lot of times she stops using that hole and she uses another hole that that's in that that could be in that system. Now, there's a lot of groundhog holes areas that in urban suburban housing developments that they only have one hole. Yes, but still you can never count on that. 
lot of times there's a hole somewhere else and it could be a ways off that you're not even thinking about. It could be the neighbor's yard. It could be the shed in the next door neighbor's yard. We see a lot of uh, groundhog holes or jobs that I get called out on and they're the middle yard if you will and there's a shed on the yard to the right and there's a shed the yard to the, to the left and then the folks say to me now you put the trap down you put it over top of the hole and we're not seeing the groundhog in our yard at all we're seeing it in the yard to the right or we're seeing it to the left or we're seeing it in both what's that mean there's a good possibility that they got a tunnel underneath for all three sheds okay and uh, that's one of the reasons why I don't like to force or, or to use the cones until I know I'm out of this birthing period time. Now, I didn't say nursing. I said birthing or birthing and nursing. I guess I should say it. But the rearing time, the time in which they're raising their, 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 their pups or you know, whatever you want to call them, okay? Um, until they're weaned and out feeding on the grass themselves, she can be a stinking pain, and what happens is a lot of times the activity just drops way down and you're wondering what you've done wrong, and you haven't done anything wrong. She's just spending more time down in the ground taking care of those young, all right, until they're weaned, and then once they're weaned and they start coming out and they start nibbling on the grass. Now, what will happen a lot of times is they will start to come out of the hole before they're weaned totally. So at about three, four weeks old, it's not uncommon to have these real, real little ones. I mean, real little ones. I just caught one just now. That's what made me want to do this this video. I've been in a two to three week low, like I, I'm, you know, and being hard headed, not wanting to face up the facts. Uh, you know, being getting frustrated why I'm not catching the groundhogs, and I know why. She had young down in there, and most of the jobs I'm getting called on is females. So you gotta wait it out for her to <clears throat> start coming out, to start feeding more, number one, and number two, the young ones coming out. Now, once the young ones start to to um, come out on their own and they're, and they're feeding on the grass, then it's a whole different ball game. Then, then at that point, you can use your nose cones, you can use your, your force sets, you can use your baited sets. 90% of my groundhog sets are baited, all right? And if I do force it, I'm gonna force it with a seven by seven by eight by 24 squirrel size strap shoved down into the hole. Most of the time. Uh, or I have a special groundhog trap that we make. But anyway, getting back to it. Um, that low time, the reason I'm talking about this is that low time it's extremely difficult to make consistent good catches if you're on a contract. And I and I have a few contracts this year where we're, we're in to reduce the, the, the groundhog population. So at that point, you've got to understand that in, in the month of May, it could be a little difficult for you to catch them. You're not doing anything wrong. It's just they're being finicky. They're being a pain. I've seen where groundhogs have held up five, six, seven days to where I know they didn't have another entry point. I see where they're coming out. I had them blocked up. I see where they're coming out uh, to the front of the trap, but they just won't enter the trap. People say, oh, they're not that smart. Yeah, they, they can be, people. I'm gonna tell you what, they can be. You know, stop thinking of these animals as dumb machines. 80% of them are dumb. Yeah, 80% of them are easy to catch. Yes, 80% of them, you can you can set at yourself and say, yeah, man, I'm good. Yeah, I don't. Man, I'm good. You can do that on the 80%. But when you get into those 20 percenters, I don't say, yeah, I'm good. Say, man, how stupid am I? And I've been doing it for, I've been fur trapping for 55 plus years, 55 years. And I've been in the wildlife control industry since 1979. I ain't a spring chicken. I still say to myself every day, man, how stupid are you? 
anyway this time in May if you can I use cable restraints I can't use killer traps I'm not allowed to use killer traps I'm not allowed to use foot traps so I can use cable restraints or cages all right so in May when I get a hole that's got the flies on it and I can see it's active especially now mid-May on I'll put a cable restraint in there and I'll catch the female why because I know that in all reality once I start catching the pups in cages on the outside even though they're real, real small once I start catching the pups that's real, real small or just at that wean stage like today I caught two one was <laughs> like that and the other one probably about eight but probably about six to eight weeks old six weeks old I'd say once I start catching them I know they're going to come out of the hole because even though they're not totally weaned yet they're ready to be and one thing about animals is they don't get depressed and they don't commit suicide. So you get mom out of the way, you get the female out of the way. Now those pups start coming out of the hole. Once the pups start coming out of the hole, uh, they're hard to get in cable restraints because they're so stinking small. But you can use your cage straps, just do what I call uh, forcing without pressure. In other words, I just take the traps and Put them up against each other and make a make a <laughs> a circle or a Y or you know just block them in just somewhat. They can still crawl crawl over the trap. And I use I use squirrel size traps most of the time if I know I'm dealing with the little ones. And they they they, they, they go on and you put a little bit of uh, of our uh, uh, hogs end uh, or our you know whistle pig or anything like that one of our groundhog gland lures or one of our groundhog food lures and, and and you put them you put it in there just just a little bit for curiosity if you got a if you got a groundhog dropping throw it in there if you got a dropping out of mom crap you can't ask for a better one you catch mom you take that dropping all right where she was setting in there that's the best spot if you can put two traps right there that's great because she's got all that urine and that smell right there then you put your other two traps there with with take one of her droppings and and put a dropping or two in each one of those traps, and those young ones, boom, 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 boom. Okay, yeah, they're they're they they're supposed to go good. Most of the time, they do go good. All right. So I use cable restraints to catch mom. Then I go to the cage trap. If you can use a killer trap, by all means, I wish my state would allow me to use killer traps. I would absolutely, without a shadow of a doubt. I ain't, I ain't no animal rescuer on wildlife control I'm ready to get her done oh I know I just fluffed a few of your feathers my job is to protect the customer not to protect the animal but anyway if you can use your killer traps go ahead and use your killer traps just remember that realistically you're going to kill her with the majority of her body down in the hole so just pay attention to that because where's the majority of the smell going to be to attract the pups down in that hole okay so you can still make it happen you can still put your you know your traps around that entry point and and when I talk about forcing I'm forcing without pressure in other words if they want to crawl over the trap they can if they want to walk beside the trap they can I don't I don't force with pressure I force without pressure um, and, and, and again, do the same thing. Take a dropping out of her. Uh, squeeze a little urine out of her if you can. Or buy our products if you want. I mean, that's, you can't get the wrong. That's our products are the best ones out there. Got to get my plug in. Got to get my plug in. But anyway. All right. Groundhog work. Right now, last two weeks of May, first week of June. is really, actually the whole month of May is kind of rough for me. I, it blows my pride a little bit. Then once we get once once the second week of June hits, man, we're flying and things are rolling and things are doing good again. All right, so just a little bit of redneck talk, redneck pride outdoors. Thoughts from the office. I'll see you next time.